Hello everyone, it's been a while since I picked up my vlogging camera and vlogged, but I'm back. I'm going to be completely honest, the reason I haven't vlogged in ages is because, hear me out, my best vlogs are the ones where maybe I'm at home doing stuff, because when I'm out doing stuff, some of the time, I always forget to film or I get embarrassed to film in public, so I don't. So I feel like the ones where I'm most interactive with the camera is when I'm at home or like just running errands and just doing stuff like that. So when I do that, I like to wear no makeup and I like to look like a scruff and I like to give my skin a breathe, especially because I've had acne in the past and I don't want to put makeup on every single day. But I feel like a lot of people at the moment are vlogging and they look so perfect when they're like they're at home all day, like just editing and stuff, but they look perfect. And I was like, well, I don't like I don't do that. So honestly, I got a little bit embarrassed to pick up the camera and start vlogging in my pajamas with no makeup on. So like whenever it came to a day where I was like at home decluttering, I was like, oh, but I look like a slob. Like no one wants to watch this. They'd rather watch someone looking perfect, etc, etc. So that's honestly why I haven't vlogged recently, but I've started decluttering again. I know you guys like that kind of stuff, so I wanted to pick up the camera today. So I have put some makeup on today, I've put some foundation on, we'll see how long this lasts. I really, really hope you can't see all the mess behind me right now, because I've started, like, sorting my life out again, and my bedroom looks like an absolute tip. But let's ignore that for now. It's half eleven, I've done some editing and some scheduling of some other work, and this is the thing as well, I feel like every other blogger apart from me is very very organised um, and gets up really early and like goes to the gym and then gets on with work and I, I'm so terrible, I love bed and if I can have a lay in then I will. So today I woke up at 9. So I feel guilty about that. Is that terrible? I feel guilty about waking up at 9 o'clock. Um, most people don't start work till 9.30 anyway, right? That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> I'm going to cover up a bit here because I don't want you to see that right now. But I do want to film a decluttering. So I want to declutter all my eyebrow stuff because I haven't yet. It's that bottom drawer there. And I've also got another box of stuff as well for it. And I'm starting a new series on my channel very soon. And I've got a lot of research to do before I film. So I filmed the first video for the series yes last week. Um, and I don't think it went very well. But hopefully I'll be able to like edit it into some brilliant video. But it's a new series that's going to be coming in a couple of weeks so I really hope that when I announce it that you guys like the sound of it because it's very controversial. So these are the eyebrow bits that I want to declutter today. I've got this drawer and I haven't, honestly I haven't looked in there for a while so I definitely need to downsize this. These are the bits that I've just grabbed out of my makeup bag, these are the ones that I use every day, love them, they're all from Benefit. And then I've got this box as well, which is a mix of kind of like new brow products and old ones that I need to, again, sort through. So I want to get through all that. Can I just do a video on decluttering eyebrow stuff? Is that a bit excessive? So I thought also that I might, I could include um, decluttering like glitters and like fun eye stuff. Oh, Domino's have just texted me. Don't you hate it when Domino's text? I need two large pizzas for £20. I have been fancying a Domino's for a week now, it's not good. So yeah, I thought I could make it, oh gosh, whoops, declutter some of my glittery, like, fun bits as well. So maybe I will do that in the same video. Let me know what you think, guys, because I'm going to have time to edit this. It's going to go up in a couple of weeks' time. Nah, so clumsy. I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea and then set up this filming space and I'll show you how I film. Got a tea, had some toast for breakfast and here is the setup. So I normally use a light but it's quite, because I'm by a window I don't really need some at the moment. So I framed it like this and I've just got the stuff here. So I'm going to start decluttering this now. I just finished, so here's all the bits that are in good condition that I'm going to give away to friends, family and you guys got some nice products in there this is my brow drawer now which is very nice I'm really happy it all could all fit into one drawer like I was really worried about that and then 
these are all the ones that I'm chucking. I ended up also getting rid of some mascaras just at the end there. Also listening to a podcast about Ed Gein, one of my favourite serial killers on True Crime Garage, which is a really, really good um, true crime podcast. If you like true crime podcasts, then you'll like this one. Behind the scenes, what you don't get to see. I'm just thinking, so I've got loads of glitters here. But they're in like low, like they're in three different compartments. So I was thinking, why don't I make room for a glitter drawer? So I've chosen now these three, which are my foundations. I haven't used some of these in ages. Again, I need to declutter them. So I might as well do that quickly now with you guys. Where do I even start? I've had some of these for so long. Right, I'm gonna get rid of. Let's put all the ones I don't want anymore in there. I love these, but oh god, that's not good. Kim base. I think I liked that one. Keep that. Get rid of these. I've had those for so long. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm doing so well. Get rid of that. This one's really good, but I can do with getting a new one now. Reminder to self, Katie, buy a new one of these as a drugstore foundation. This is great, but it's way too dark for my skin tone. Uh, definitely want to keep this. Cover effects, custom drops. Haven't used it enough. So I want to experiment with that a little bit more. Haven't used these in... I literally had those for four years. What am I doing with my life? I'm going to keep my NARS Sugar Glow and get rid of the NARS Sheer Max. I've had that too long. Love this, but it's too dark. Bought that last year, but again, I never wear it. I'm going to get rid of that. Had it too long. Keep that, like that one. And keep those two. Oh my god, I've just like practically got rid of all of my foundations. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Literally, the only ones I ever wear though is... Oh, I'm going to be embarrassing now. Look and show you this. This is another drawer of stuff I need to get rid of. So the foundation that I'm obsessed with at the moment is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I think I use this shade Snow, but I also have this one for the summer. This is called Pearl. These are bits that I haven't really used yet and that I need to go through and sort out. So there will be another decluttering video coming soon. I'm really embarrassed to have showed you that. I'm sorry. At least this drawer's looking a bit more organised though. This is one of my eyeliner eyeshadow drawers also my palette drawer is looking really great at the moment look at that it's so organized i'm so proud of myself that wasn't hard at all oh okay i feel fresh i'm going to clean all these drawers and then i've got two drawers for glitter and then maybe i can chuck this one because i don't need so many anymore ignore my pyjamas i've also decided to get rid of the nausea glow i love it but i have had it for too long and there's no point in me keeping hold of it like, I was just going to happily keep this, but know that I wouldn't use it because I wouldn't want to put it on my skin because it's too old. I've also just put this in the back of my hand and my chin, and it's way too dark. So I'm going to have to repurchase that in a lighter shade. So I'm still decluttering. This is going very well. Just want to confirm that I like this one. I think I really like this one for summer. But it's just, they're all so dark. And I think my hands are darker than my face. And so if it looks dark on my hand it would definitely look dark on my skin. I use this a lot when I was on Roaccutane, um, especially in the summer months. Put that in there as well. Chucked 21 foundations and I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go, that's going back and now I've got two empty drawers to do the... Are you guys judging me for working in my pyjamas? <laughs> Hope not. Um, I'm making great progress. I have just decluttered my glitters and look this is like my favourite drawer now. It's so beautiful. So I've got a couple of empty drawers now. So what I'm thinking is this one needs a good clean. But I might put it in my bathroom and fill it with like cotton cotton pads and makeup remover. Just so it's like a place I can go to and know to take my makeup off with. I just feel like having them all stacked up here was looking a little bit rubbish and claustrophobic. So I still need to sort them out. I, I kind of want to get rid of this one. This has got my MAC and Illa Mask lipsticks in, but I just think it's looking a bit old and shabby right now, so I might see if I can put these in some somewhere else. So I've changed it up a little bit. This fat box, I've decided to put all of my Illa Masca MAC and YSL, well, some of my YSL lipsticks in. Um, I've got my other ones here, so in love with them. But I think this works a lot better because this way I can see directly what ones I want but it does mean that I have to find another use for this box I absolutely love this box because it says Katie's Beauty blog on it it was, from, it was a gift from Birchbox but I'm very happy about my new lipstick storage I am freezing, it's so cold in the house so I'm going to make hot drink and put the heating on so you guys know that I love my like instant coffee it's not like instant coffee it's like powder that you 
put water in with and then it kind of foams up and they're so nice. So I normally have this one, this is the Nescafe Gold range and I normally have vanilla latte but then when I went shopping the other day I found a hazelnut latte and hazelnut is my all time favourite. Like one of my favourite foods, hazelnut, I'm so obsessed, anything hazelnut I love. Oh it's seasonal, I should stock up. Um, so I'm going to have one of these now. I'm just going to edit for the rest of the day and do some research for some future videos. I think it's like four o'clock and I also need to buy a new lens for my camera and I need to buy a new vlogging camera because this one is so bad. I'm using the Canon S120. I've only just noticed this. This is so bad. But um, I used to have like a little tripod on it. So I used to like hold the tripod and I was like, oh, well, let me get the tripod so I can like screw it on. And it seems to have snapped off the bottom, so now I can't screw anything into the bottom. I, I'm not going to be able to describe what I mean, but I must have trodden on it. And so now I can't put a tripod in this camera, and I can't even get it out because it's like probably snapped. So I need to buy a new vlogging camera, just because this one's so old. The battery, like I fully charged the battery last night, only got like one bar left. The battery is horrendous, and it doesn't have a flip around screen, so I don't even know if I'm recording right now. And so the lens I need to get for my camera is because my one is so old. Again, it's like five years old, the lens, and it just doesn't even focus anymore. That's a lot of expenses coming out, but I need to put into the business to get good content out of the business. So I'm looking forward to doing some research and choosing what ones to get. I'm just snacking on these. I got these in the latest sourced box. They're really weird. I've never had anything like this before, but um, they're really good. Quite spicy. I have made myself dinner. I've made myself chicken fajitas, but it's definitely a bit of a fail. I'll tell you why. I forgot to defrost my chicken last night, so I had to defrost it in the microwave, so it's going to not be very nice. I also made some guacamole, but I feel that, like that's going to be a bit of a fail as well, so not, not, not as um, hopeful as I was hoping. I am running a bath and I'm going to use a bath bomb. I think I know what one I'm going to use already. I'm going to use this. It's a Christmas one but I feel like it's on the way out so I want to film it and use it before then. But I'm going to film this for a bath bomb demo video which means if I have enough hands. No I don't. <laughs> There's GoPro is charging, bath is running. Oh, I ordered a new vlog, ca vlog camera. Took me ages to decide. Yeah, I ordered a Canon G7X Mark II. I need to go to Westfield tomorrow or the day after and go pick it up from John Lewis. Let's see how this bath is doing. Doing good, doing good. We'd also like a beverage for the bath. What have we got in my alcoholic cupboard? We have my cocktail mixer, these are all my drinks. Do I fancy some whiskey or maybe some Baileys or sherry? I haven't had sherry in a really long time. Sherry in a teacup. I know you're only supposed to have a thimble when you drink sherry, mm, but I'm intending for this to be quite a long bath. All ready to go. GoPro, camera, put that on film. Oh no! <laughs> Two cameras on the go. Look how pretty it looks. I've been filming for like 15 minutes, so it's kind of faded now, but this is how beautiful it is. Got my sherry and some popcorn shed, pecan pie popcorn. Mm -mm -mm. So I've been listening to a new podcast today, it's called Real Crime Profile and it's basically a, a couple of F, like real life FBI agents have like done a review or say their own thoughts of like big murder investigations. So the first one they did was um, Making a Murder of Stephen Avery and I have just started listening to this and I'm really excited to hear what they say about it. And basically did not get any jail time for it. And that might be, might have been the impetus to make sure that the next thing that came along really stuck. Now. What a bloody marvellous day. I am just off to the post office to drop off some returns and then I'm going to Westfield to pick up my new vlog and vlogging camera there. I absolutely hate vlogging in public. I'm still so bad at it. I get so awkward. I literally just stacked it in front of some builders because I was so embarrassed. <laughs> it's so hot today. It's like proper summer, all of, like all of a sudden, because it's been horrible recently. I had such great intentions when I left the house today. My plan was to go 
drop off some um, returns to the post office, did that, that was great, and then go to Westfield to pick up my new vlogging camera, I'm so excited, um, and then I was going to do a little bit of a, food, a, little, a, little, a little bit of a food shop, and then I was going to get Starbucks from the way home, and I was so excited for the Starbucks, but I got in such a kerfuffle with my food shop that I completely forgot, and it wasn't until I was on the train platform, like, oh, ordered some memory cards from Amazon, and they also came today, which is good. Do you want a little bit of a food haul? I didn't really know what I was getting. It's balance you on the sugar pot. Can you see? I don't know. Garlic bread for tonight. I made sausage pasta last night um, and I'm going to have the rest of it for dinner tonight. I've got some chicken. I've got some soul goujons because that sounds amazing. Like fish, fish goo, goujons. Goujons or goujons? I got a quiche. I might freeze that. And then I got some little salad bits for lunch. So I got some pasta, spinach and pine kernels in a pesto dressing. And some orzo pasta, red rice, peppers and wheat berries. Some hummus. Also got some of my favourite blood orange juice. Two of those. And the bad boy. The camera. I'm so excited. Okay, don't judge me, this looks like a massive lunch, but I haven't had any breakfast yet, so this is like lunch and breakfast combined. I am just going to watch some girls whilst I eat this, and then I've got lots of work to do. Yes, look at this. Oh my gosh, it looks so sexy. Let's open it properly. I haven't had a new gadget in a really long time, so I'm so excited. Oh wow, look at that. She's so sexy and I'm so excited to finally have a screen that flips out. Oh, okay, this is the first time I'm shooting on this camera. How do I look? Oh, it's so weird seeing myself. Okay, I'm going to try not to look up at the screen. I've been editing all afternoon. I feel quite productive. I feel really in a really good mood at the moment, which is great. So I am being a bridesmaid for one of my best friends. In July I'm so excited I've never ever been a bridesmaid before she's one of my like best friends in the whole entire world Sophie and we've been friends for like 10 years now so um I bought myself some shoes to wear to her wedding let me know what you think they're from ASOS oh my god I am in love how amazing are these shoes so they're like rose gold bronze um platform shoes i love a platform like this because it gives me height and i also love the thickness of the heel i can't wear stilettos and also because half of the wedding is in a garden i can't have like a thin heel so these are pretty much perfect this beautiful like embellished sparkly heel statement heel so yes i am in love i haven't showed them to her yet but i hope she likes them um i do need to practice walking in them quite a bit that would be the worst thing ever falling over being a bridesmaid i will leave a link to those down below yeah in the description box i am going to continue doing some work i am going to make a tea though i've only had one tea today i'm really excited to try that out this camera let's see how well it does adjusting taking a while <gasps> amazing that's so cool this camera's incredible okay ignore my face but you guys haven't seen this little girl in a while hmm. echo is doing really really well at the moment love her so much i love her so much she's my everything i'm gonna give echo some tomato i think she's had tomato before oh Oh, is that nice? It's cold, isn't it? I should have um, warmed it up a little bit. You are so cute. <laughs> I love you so much. I'm all wet now. I feel terrible. I haven't vlogged at all today. It's like... Five, I need to leave, I need to go to circus. Um, I've been working really hard on editing lots of stuff this morning. And then I got a notification from a girl saying she wants to come and look at the room today. So I was like, oh my God, yes, definitely. Um, so I just spent the last like hour doing a really deep clean, but really quickly. Um, but now I need to leave. I need to like put something on and go to circus. My laptop is having a mental breakdown at the moment. 
because I'm using Premiere to edit my videos now and I didn't used to do that. It's been exporting this video for like four hours now, it's ridiculous. It's got 24 minutes left though. Don't forget my ankle strap. I forgot my ankle strap last um, class and I was in agony. Note to self, please blow out all the candles before you leave Katie. Bathroom's all nice tidy. I forgot how good this candle is. It's the Genki Sugared Apple Candle and it honestly is one of my favourites. It smells insane. I'm having an ugly day today. I haven't even got a top on. I'm having an ugly day today. I feel like bloated and my face doesn't look right and my foundation didn't go on properly and it was too orange. I had to take it off and do it again. <sighs> I've had to move loads of stuff up here my room is now a tip even though I tidied it yesterday which is fantastic yes. at home with my little bear <laughs> she's a bit sleepy um, girl just came around to view my flat. She was really lovely and she loves books. So I think we're going to get on brilliantly. Um, and she's going to let me know at the weekend if she wants to move in or not. <laughs> You're so cute. I love you so much. So fingers crossed everyone, please. Although I'll probably know Nat by the time you're watching this. Mm, 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 mm. Um, it's quite late. I think it's like half nine, but I haven't eaten dinner yet. All I've had was that lunch. I didn't show you earlier. I didn't show you earlier. I'm so stupid. I had basically the same lunch that I had yesterday, like this M&S um, salady stuff and quiches. Um, so I should probably have some dinner. I've just put some garlic bread in the oven. But is that a substantial meal? I don't think so. I think that's quite carby. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Good morning, it is Friday. Today, I'm not wearing any lipstick, so I haven't put that on yet. I'm just making myself some lunch and doing lots of work. Focus. There we go. Going on a date tonight. Um, I haven't washed my hair since Monday. What do you reckon? I'm hoping it will be all right and that he won't think I'm an absolute skank, but I can't be bothered. I'd rather wash it tomorrow for the weekend. This is my absolute favourite, mushroom ravioli. So, so good. This is like my go-to quick meal. I had it for dinner last night as well. So yeah, I've got a Tinder date, um, but first I've got lots of work to do and also I need to go to the estate agent to talk to him about some stuff. I'm gonna go and do that at four o'clock. Oh, maybe I should wash my hair. <laughs> should I wash my hair for this date? I'm gonna have to, aren't I? This looks stupid. I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you some of the products that I've been using on my hair recently and loving. So the first up is the Fudge um, Clean Blonde Violet Toning Shampoo. This is incredible. It's the best purple shampoo I think I've ever used. And as you can see, I have tried a lot. Um, this is my favorite. It smells amazing. It lathers really well. And if you leave it on for a good like five minutes, you definitely will have like a purple tint, like white hair. This one from Lush is also incredible. It smells like Palma Violets, so I love it, but um, this is my, definitely my favorite. Move my Femme Fresh. <laughs> I've been using the oil conditioner, which I absolutely love, as well as the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask, which is really good. And I've been using the Maria Neela Structure Repair Shampoo and Conditioner as well. Also, I've been trying the Gradual Tan recently. I really like this one. You just put it on your wet skin, leave it on for like three minutes, and then it kind of gradually builds up a tan which is good because it's natural and I don't like looking orange. Right, I'm gonna wash this mop now, then I can get on with my work. This is the loudest rain I've ever heard in this bedroom. Sounds like the house is gonna blow over. Come to a cafe, my favorite cafe in Leightonstone. Um, and I'm having some tea and had some banana bread as well. <laughs> Today has been non stop. Um, I'm ready back now from the errands. Now I'm going on a date. I'm not going to bring my vlogging camera with me because that's really weird and I'm not going to vlog when I'm there at all. But um, 
wish me luck i hope it's a good one not like some of the other ones that i've been on recently just thought i'd show you quickly what i'm wearing so or oh, i can't even remember where this top's from probably new look it's just like a nice off the shoulder one look at my eczema got really bad eczema on my chest at the moment it's not good and i'm wearing my high-waisted top shop journey jeans and some big um boots from H&M I think they are. I'm going to put my hair down. My hair's really annoying me at the moment. You know the other day I said I wasn't feeling very pretty. I think it's because my roots are going through and they're quite big and I need to get my hair done. Perfume of choice for the day is I've got like a vanilla one from Sephora and I've mixed that with Diptyque's Eau de Well for a little bit more spice. Like a vanilla spice. Jacket on. I don't get nervous before dates but for some reason I am a bit nervous this one i'm gonna go and do a shot before it goes as well a little bit of back home spray it's a problem when you just wash your hair it's really flat i don't like that i think that's all right i think i look okay do i look okay I'm... <laughs> okay wish me luck see you later